All right, we're live. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Jennifer. We're here uh, from Amity Law Group. Uh, I'm here to get today with uh, my partners, Cindy and Edmund, and we have a very special guest um, today with Lily Hua. Hi, Lily. Hi. So um, Lily is a very experienced insurance agent. Um, she owns her own insurance agency, um, State Farm Insurance Agency in the city of Walnut. Um, she is currently the acting president of the Asian Real Estate Association of America. Um, and so uh, today we have Lily here um, to talk about all types of insurance. I know, you know, here at Amity, we try to provide as much information as we can uh, to our clients and to our viewers, um, you know, think about how to manage and minimize your risk. Um, and insurance really is a big, um, you know, tool to help minimize certain types of risk. Um, so today, uh, Lily will introduce to us, you know, all sorts of different type of insurance um, to see what could be applicable and helpful to you. Um, so Cindy, maybe you could pose the first question to Lily. Hey, Lily. So um, one of the big topics that I always um, bring up with clients who come into our office um, who are seeking asset protection is obviously insurance, that they make sure they have the adequate insurance coverage. And in particular, uh, we go over umbrella insurance. A lot of people haven't heard about umbrella insurance. They don't understand it. So can you just give us a sort of a, a summary of what umbrella insurance is? Absolutely. So there's two types of umbrella. One is more personal and the other one is commercial. So personal basically covers, um, you know, I'm speaking on behalf of our agency, um, because I know other insurance I mean, companies may be a little bit different. So it covers your primary home along with your autos and your rental properties. So basically it's liability coverage, meaning that if you get sued in a lawsuit or something. Um, so the way it works is let's say, you know, knock on wood, you get in a car accident, right? Like it actually happened to one of my customers. Didn't think it was a big deal, fender bender. Next thing you know, he was being summoned they're suing him for half a million dollars. He showed up to my office at 8.30 in the morning. We don't work until nine. So he was waiting for me and he said, you know what, I was having dinner. Next thing you know, I was being summoned. And I said, oh, this was just a small little fender bender. He said, yeah, I'm getting sued half a million dollars. So uh, filed the claim, but then next thing you know, um, you know, because he had an umbrella policy, that gave him a peace of mind. You know, he didn't have to worry about, you know, all these expenses that may be incurred or what can happen. Because when people have um, assets, that's the scariest thing, right? One little accident can damage you. So a lot of times when we, what we do in our office is, you know, if they do have assets, personal or commercial, whether it's investment, whether they have a lot of rental properties, we want to make sure that they have that umbrella to protect them just in case of a lawsuit. So why have umbrella if they already have a policy an insurance policy on the car or an insurance policy on the house so it's basically additional coverage additional coverage um on top of it so a lot of times people may um you know have like 10 autos right and you know maybe two of them only have a two million dollar uh, one million dollar each but the other ones don't so this gives you a whole uh, big picture of all of the um, all the coverages that you need, excess liability just in case of a lawsuit. So the way umbrella works is you could it follows you anywhere in the world, meaning that if you rented a car like let's say in Europe or something like that, and you needed that extra protection just in case of a lawsuit, so you can call you know your insurance company for that protection just in case. Okay, and then if um the umbrella policy does that cover everyone under in your household or how does that work so the way they quote the umbrella is basically that's a great question per driver so let's say there's two drivers with 10 cars we won't rate you on the 10 cars it's only two drivers so two drivers can only drive at one time right so we only rate the drivers how many years experience um how's their driving record and that's how we, we come up with the amount. And if they have rental properties, we could put the rental properties under the umbrella as well. 
So for State Farm, does the policy, uh, is it like an individual policy per driver? Yes, or can correct. Or lump it in as husband and wife have one umbrella? Correct, yes. And it can uh, cover up to four rental properties. Okay. Okay. So Lily, I have questions regarding uh, auto insurance. I okay. received a letter uh, last week from my insurance company uh, telling me that I'm going to get a refund uh, because <laughs> there's not a lot of uh, driving going been... on. <laughs> my team and I have been very busy answering these questions. Yeah. <laughs> so with the um, Department of Insurance Commissioner um, Ricardo Lara, back in March, he issued a notice to all the insurance company asking us to provide a grace period for our customers. So the grace period was from March to, to um, May. So some of my customers call and say, oh, do I not have to pay for insurance anymore? I said, no, it's a grace period. So after that, you have to pay. It's kind of like delaying your payments. Um, in May, another notice came out that it's been delayed again. Um, so there's, there's a lot of grace period out there, however, it's just an extension for you to help, you know, with the situation. It's not like you, you can't, you don't have to pay for it. Um, but a lot of companies are giving refunds. So you may be giving refund, getting dividends, um, through a check, mm -hmm. or you may be getting dividends through your monthly account or, uh, during a renewal. So call your insurance agent, let them know, you know, you heard on the news or, or <laughs> what are you guys doing for us? So we've been getting a lot of calls like that. Um, you know, our customers asking us what we're doing as an insurance company to help because a lot of people are not driving, right? Right. right. We're not driving, yeah. uh, working from home. And also one other thing is um, a lot of people are calling us to tell us to suspend their coverage or cancel their insurance policies. But very important to know if you're financing your car, and you have to have um, comp and collision on there, we cancel your insurance. What's gonna happen is your finance company is gonna come back and ask you for, to go back and, and, and charge you for that. So talk to your insurance agent, um, see how you can, you know, maybe modify your coverages, but don't cancel it, you know, because sometimes they may charge you for that later. Do you think that uh, COVID-19 is going to affect future premiums? Like, is, is it gonna go up? Is it gonna go down? Is it gonna affect it at all? Um, we're hoping it's gonna go down um, with our agency. What we're doing is, and I think, you know, it's um, people are driving less. When people are driving less, that means less, less accidents. So, you know, we're projecting to have a rate decrease hmm. in the near future. And it's not just our company, but I'm sure a lot of insurance company probably feel the same way because there's a lot less accidents now and people are driving less. So I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, there's some good news soon of a great decrease. Save us some money, right? Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's a good time to like for, for people to just shop around, call you and maybe see if there's any better policies? Like, is there anything that's that's going on that's new right now? So yeah, it's really important to build a relationship with your, your agent, right? Um, Cause if something happens, you wanna make sure you are properly covered, um, which I'll talk to, to you about, um, you know, going over, making sure you go over, if you have a home, make sure you understand your coverages with homeowner, right? Mm -hmm. Something happens, pipe burst, fire, theft, you wanna make sure that whatever you have in your house is properly covered. Because a lot of people assume that, oh, I have a diamond ring, um, I bought insurance on my homeowner, everything is covered. No, there are limitations to what is covered to your policy. Um, also auto insurance, you know, if you're driving less, you can call your agent and say, you know, I'm driving less, is there any way, you know, you guys can modify my, my insurance. Um, assets, you know, just making sure that you you know, you go over all your assets with your, your agent, um, finding all your, your, you know, we call it simple sales conversation, basically meeting with your customers and just going through all your coverages and make sure you're getting all your discounts. Like State Farm says, uh, discount double check, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Lily, you, you mentioned, you know, the, the home now, the auto, uh, what about for businesses? Um, I know, especially, um, in the past few days, there's been a lot of issues with uh, vandalism and looting of businesses. Um, is there something 
insurance wise like does it cover um looting uh in this situation yeah that's a great question um with all these businesses you know it's it's really sad because the only time you look at your business policy is when something happens and when it actually happens it's too late already right you can't go back and add the coverages um some of the standard coverages and in, include like uh property so when we when we do a quote for a business insurance a business policy we would ask them do you have any tenant improvements did you build anything extra how much business property do you have basically your inventory your equipment um what about um liability you know our liability insurance it's really important when someone comes in and slip and fall right you want to make sure you're properly covered uh, loss of income is something that um, I know that a lot of businesses are probably either filing a claim or questioning agents. Is that something that's covered because my company got shut down, right? My business shut down. Do you guys cover that? So one of the things I always tell my customers, you can submit a, you know, we can file a claim for you. And then what you can do is um, the claims department will determine whether or not, because it's always case by case scenario, right? We can't say everything is covered, just call us. <laughs> so basically, we just ask our customers, you know, if, 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 if your company or your agency, your business was affected due to COVID-19 or looting or, you know, burglary, please let us know. We can file a claim and then the claim specialist will, you know, contact you and then determine whether or not it's covered. And, you know, what's really sad is that when I, I was reading, you know, on Facebook and stuff, there's a business, you know, over three in Chicago, over 350,000 worth, worth of merchandises was all looted and gone. And you wow. only had liability insurance. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a big hit for a business. So it's very, very, very important. Re yeah, review your policy with your agent, you know, understand what it covers. Maybe you have more stuff. Because I always tell my customers, it's not just business, with auto insurance, right? When you're young, you don't really have high liability limits. It may be just California minimum because you have no assets. As you get older, you have a house maybe, you may have some money in the bank. You want to make sure you go over all those coverages with your agent. Because when something happens, you know, you want to make sure it's properly protected. Yeah, that's a really good message. And I hope people, um, you know, can remind themselves that it really is um, important to at least, you know, take a proactive approach and just review what you have, uh, what you can do now to minimize these type of risks. And like Lily said, you know, once it does happen and by that time it's already too late. Um, and so I think it is really important. And that's kind of the message that we try to come across um, uh, with Amity as well in terms of our estate planning. Uh, we, we do this, you know, so that it can prevent future problems for your family. Um, and so it's the same thing with insurance. Yeah, and I always tell my customers, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard it somewhere. There's more um, more lawyers in California than <laughs> anywhere in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> is that true or no? <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I tell them, I said, okay, before the rates are really, you know, good, now it's a little bit higher because before you wouldn't have these billboards that would say call this person when you're injured right but mm -hmm. now it's like there's a lot of them <laughs> yeah. i'm just kidding i'm just saying just make sure <laughs> you you protect yourself that's all all right so um <laughs> we have listed on the video lily's contact information um her uh url is lily is my agent.com Correct. Yes. And you could check us up, um, check us out on Yelp as well. Perfect. Um, and so that uh, concludes our live video today, unless there's anything else you guys want to add. Anything else? Oh, one thing. <laughs> so oh, yeah. so Lily, okay. you, you mentioned earlier that diamond rings aren't covered. For, for home <laughs> you have to buy a special policy for that oh, personal article policy. See, I, I, didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's up to like fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's, if you have like over five thousand dollar ring, definitely get a separate policy. It's a lot more inexpensive than you would expect. Maybe two, three hundred dollars a dollar a day will protect your ring, just in case you lose it or or something. That or yeah. Wow, a dollar a day. Funny. That's like 
not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been more busy during this time or has it been about the same? It's been uh, busy reviewing policies, calling customers about their discounts. Mm. Other than that, it's been a little bit slower. We're just contacting our customers to let them know, you know, there is a grace period. However, it's best to make your payments if you can and do reviews, policy reviews. Mm. We hope it's things pick up. <laughs> just call us. All right, everyone. Uh, hope everybody stays safe. Uh, contact Lily if you have any insurance questions, and we will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.